<laughs> that one turned out really good. I'm gonna try it. Wow. And that's so the it's outcome. 12 minutes, not 18. 12 minutes. Whoa. Those look really good. 12 minutes. They look soggy when you put them in there, but now they're, I think because of the egg yolk and the water. Mm hmm There they are. Fresh. Homemade pretzels. So can you tell us one more time what you did to create this marvelous batch of pretzels? Well, you have to ferment your yeast, so yeast, sugar, water. Nice. After that's nice and bubbly, you add your flour, butter, and salt. Really, that's it. And then let it rise for about an hour till it's doubled. And then you will punch it down, roll it out into, uh, I did eight, eight. 24 inch long rolls and then you just twist them up which is pretty hard to explain I just have to show you and after that you boil them for about 30 seconds in baking soda let them dry a little bit put them on a greased pan and then bake 12 minutes okay so I think we can all agree just from hearing that alone instead of recording a video editing it and all that I think we could all agree we would just love to see it live all right, so she's got another one, uh, and it would be a lot less work, and I think you guys would appreciate it too, but she just got another one out of the oven. This one's kind of like, uh, there's three more. One of them didn't quite turn out because I uh, kind of interrupted the whole flow of everything, but there's another one right out of the oven. There's another, and the last one. Boom, homemade pretzels. That looks pretty awesome. Um, and what's so funny is that she had to soak them in water. It's like, I've never seen that before. But then she put like an egg yolk mixed with water. I think it was egg yolk and butter or egg yolk and no, water? Egg yolk and water. Egg, egg yolk and water on top of these, they look like noodles. And then she just baked them and they come out looking like this with a crispy, crispy shell. So they look awesome. Yeah. And then there is one that did not turn out, and I'm going to try that one. It's so pretty good. it's pretty hot and fresh. Mm. Careful, it's hot. Wow. So that's the nice thing about having a messed up one is you can eat it. Mm-hmm. Very good. Dessert we made today as well. What is this one called? The chocolate chips? It's a cookie bake. I've already dove into it. But it has uh, chocolate chips, flour, oats, oats, and then sugar, butter. Nice thing about clear pans is you can kind of see. Let me get you guys a view of what it looks like underneath, how it all just kind of come, kind of comes together. It's kind of heavy. Man, that's heavy. Okay, and then we have these sugar cookies. These turn out awesome. So tell me about these. So your sugar cookie, we probably make once a week and you use sugar, butter, flour. And I like to use coconut extract, but this time I used rum extract just for a little richer of a flavor. Then you roll them in sugar and bake them. Very good. Mm-hmm.
And what do you have on the stove? This is called red fish soup. Hmm. It has broccoli, potatoes, onions, tomatoes, radish, um, garlic. Redfish? Yeah, the redfish is salmon. That's what I used. Ah. You can use another redfish. Nice. I just added some ricotta, and I will be adding heavy cream in a moment. Okay. And that's just to thicken the broth, make it more rich. Nice. Flavor. Like the cheese melted most of the way. You put uh, cottage cheese in there? No, or ricotta. Cream, ricotta. Ricotta cheese. This is a recipe, probably, um, it was in Ukrainian, so translated it and did my best to get the measurements right, but this is the first time, so hopefully it's a big winner. This is a half and half? that you poured in maybe about like uh, how many ounces? Probably did a little over a quarter cup. Okay, Just and it's completely changing it. Yeah, so that's probably good. I'm gonna taste test it. I tried it before I added the cream and it was good broth, so yeah. Well, that's good. I like the uh, one that you make, um, that you get at the Olive Garden. What is it called? Tuscan Zeppa. Tuscan Zeppa. Man, that one is good too. But this is called, what more time? It's called red fish soup. Red fish soup. Someone is feasting on the leftovers of that uh, yeah. pretzel over there. Mm-hmm. Does look good. So one last look, see. And then we'll be done. Here they are. Homemade pretzels, guys. Pretty awesome. Thank you for joining us. We'll go live again soon. And check out what this subscriber thing is going to be all about on um, TikTok. I'm new to all of this. I do have a YouTube channel, Dessert Hound. I have an Instagram channel, Dessert Hound. Check out all the content there. Um, but thank you for joining. And we'll go live soon. Thanks.